Hi, I'm Mary Jean Creek, Professor and Head of Lab at the Rockefeller University, and you see our Laboratory Capital L library behind me. Uh, it's a pleasure to make this brief videotape about my favorite organization, the College on Problems of Drug Dependence. I started attending the meetings in the late 1970s. In 1984, 82, I was elected to the board, and uh, which was then called the Committee on the Problems of Drug Dependence. And in 1984, I was elected to become chairman of the Committee on Problems of Drug Dependence. The late Joe Brady, in his inimitable fashion, had said, be careful, gentlemen. I was the only woman on the board, though Lee Robbins had served on the board before I did. Be careful, gentlemen. At some point in time, she's going to be our leader. And indeed, I was elected to become chairman, that is, president, which I served from 85 to 87. Unfortunately, a wonderful scientist and a great uh, executive secretary, Joe Cochin, died just before I took office, and I found myself inheriting a whole organization. One of the first moves I did was to have an election for a new executive secretary. That would be Dr. Martin Adler, who is just being succeeded now by Ellen Geller. The 85 meeting was in Grand Labacan, near Lake Tahoe. The 86 meeting was in Philadelphia. And I'm proud to say it was the first but only joint meeting with the Research Society on Alcoholism. I started two movements, primarily with Marty Adler and Bill Dewey, but many others helping. First was to have a travel awards program. I felt very strongly that young scientists, like I still was, should have had a greater opportunity to get to go to meetings and yet couldn't always afford to do so. So we started the Travel Awards program. It's become an overwhelming success. As you all know, laughing, I hope, I always am invited to the lunches, dinners, or brunches uh, that celebrate the new Travel Awards each year. And in fact, the group has grown. We have done track record follow-ups. It's the most outstanding training program out there. The other thing Bill and uh, uh, Marty and others and I felt strongly about in the 85 to 90 epic was that our organization had to become a organization with members. The board of directors actually advised the Committee on Problems of Drug Dependence, and all the leaders on the board of directors agreed with us on the committee. So we worked very hard, and with Chuck Gordeski's enormous help for bylaws, etc., we developed a membership organization. And we still have that, and it has grown. Our scientific meetings, when I first started to come in the late 70s, had 200, 300 people, and it grew up to about 500 as a membership organization, as you well know, there's well over 1,000 to 1,200. The meetings remain outstanding. The topic's more diverse. Of course, I'm a champion of basic science along with clinical science and always will be. Uh, I'm very proud of what this organization has done in terms of national and international education related to the problems of drug abuse and drug dependence, or as I insist on calling the disease of addictions. My laboratory is called the Laboratory of the Biology of Addictive Diseases. That is what we're trying to prevent, early intervene to prevent, and to treat. And although many of us are doing bench work, others are doing translational work, others of us basic clinical or applied clinical research or epidemiologic work, all of this is part of the composite for effective prevention and treatment. So it's a delight to me when they decided to diversify and reach out, I was re-elected to the Board of Directors.